so DCIS is ductal carcinoma in situ. <clears throat> what this means is it, it means that there's cells in the breast that have changed, they've mutated, and they have a cancer-like appearance under the microscope, but they've not penetrated or invaded through the breast duct. They are still basically on the outside of the body. Um, we think of it like a pre-cancer situation, something that if left alone could turn into an invasive cancer, but if we find it, then we try to treat it and prevent invasive cancer from happening. The, the biggest risks with DCIS are that it could turn into invasive cancer or it could come back after treatment. In and of itself, it does not have the capacity to spread in the body. It cannot become metastatic cancer. So for that reason, we, we really think about it in a very different category than invasive breast cancer. I will tell you that there's actually a move afoot to try to remove it from under the breast cancer umbrella because it is, it, it's really not a breast cancer, it's a pre-cancer situation. That being said, the treatment for DCIS does in some ways mirror what we do for invasive cancer. For example, people uh, need surgery, people might need radiation treatment. And um, if the DCIS has hormone receptors on it, there could be a role to use some of the same hormone medicines to help prevent the DCIS from coming back in the breast. The, the two main categories of drugs that we can use for DCIS are tamoxifen um, or the aromatase inhibitors, AI medicines. And these are both medicines we use all the time for invasive breast cancer. Um, the duration of therapy for DCIS is five years. Um, we do use longer durations for invasive breast cancer, but we do not use longer durations for DCIS. Most recently, there, um, there has been a, a study that came out that was not really designed for DCIS. It was designed more for the prevention setting, but looked at using a lower dose of tamoxifen than what we typically give for DCIS. Um, the trial enrolled people with a whole spectrum of pre-cancer findings, including DCIS, but also including just uh, the atypical cells. And in the trial, people received a lower dose of tamoxifen versus regular. And what they showed was that the outcome in terms of prevention seemed the same for both arms, but the people who took the lower dose had less risk of some of the rare but more serious side effects of tamoxifen, like risk of blood clots. And so based on that data, we've started offering people lower dose tamoxifen. Um, we offer 10 milligrams instead of 20 milligrams um, when treating DCIS, uh, but we would still continue it for the, the five-year course. Um, but uh, uh, increasingly also there's, uh, is part of this move to get it out from under the breast cancer umbrella, um, sometimes people being treated for DCIS may actually go to a, a DCIS clinic that's run by surgical oncology. And so they, being seen by medical oncology may in the future not be part of the management for DCIS. Okay, thank you.